Uh, but I think it's time now to slow it down a bit. Let Dan take the reins while I get even more grilled. And tell us a little bit about washing your buds. Washing your buds. What's washing your buds? Why would you do it? Why should anyone care? Because the last year, I see it a lot. Yeah, I but hear it before a lot. that, I've never seen it before. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, sure. opinions. Yeah, there's a lot of opinions <laughs> about it, but what? there's also there's truths about it, you know. Okay. Uh, where do we start? Jeez, what is it? So would you need to wash indoor versus outdoor? Which is the best one to wash? And why are you washing it? Both. What are we washing Well, not off? both. You, have, you would wash <coughs> the outdoor and you would maybe wash your indoor. Mm -hmm. So that's how that would start. What are we washing off? Dust, so, incense? Exactly, there we go. So if you're going indoor, you're going to be more than likely washing off powdery mildew if you happen to get some late in your harvest and it's really not that bad. You might want to just save a bit of the crop and you don't want to throw away all of this hard work. And seeing yeah. as powdery mildew isn't going to harm you, remember mm -hmm. that it isn't going to harm you, it is an irritant to your lungs. Okay. It's just an irritant and it is not, it's unsightly on the plant. It doesn't actually um, poison. poison you or infect your body at all. It just is an irritant to the lungs. So yes, people that have asthma will really be affected by it, but it doesn't mean that it's poisoned you. It's not a toxin. Yeah. Yeah. So that could be the one thing that they wanted to do. Outdoors. You generally would want to wash your buds if you've got plants growing without any kind of covering. So no kind of shade net or no mm. kind of tunneling or anything like that because you've got dust, you've got bugs, you've got all sorts of stuff that lands on your buds. Pollution from the street cars, like exhaust yeah, fumes. I mean, maybe and a bit of carbon, you know, but the, you know, you'd be surprised if you actually go and wash outdoor buds, what kind of dirt comes off of those buds. Smoke a little insect poop. Yeah. And how do well, you I mean, wash you're, you're going to get guys who are going to be like, well, man, you know, we just keep it all natural. Yeah. Don't panic, don't it's panic. organic. Yeah, it's just yeah. a bit of bugs and poo, man. Yeah, we won't charge you extra. Which, which day it is, exactly. Yeah, it's so good for the immune system. Do people yeah. want to <laughs> wash <laughs> the outdoor buds? Uh, it's, it's not. It's, it's not really... It's not. Do I say, do people want to? Yes, they want to, but is it worth it? And Depends I'm, on what you do with the bud. If it's for sale and you want to make it presentable and be like the best it can be, yes, you would. You'd take the most oh. respect, you know. But now, wouldn't Treat washing it wash the trichomes off, <laughs> making it less presentable? That comes down to your method. Okay, so what do we do? Do we chuck it in the washing no, machine? So this is a, this is Dad Definitely. doing a Loki Omo ad for us. Omo, <laughs> right? come on! So, How do we do this? Well, what it is generally is you just take two or three buckets of water, in varying temperatures. Nothing that's too hot and nothing that's too cold, because too hot is going to burn your trichomes or not burn your trichomes. Sorry, it's going to evaporate your your terpenes off. Mm -hmm. And too cold is going to make your trichromes potentially freeze off and knock off. So, so room temperature to lukewarm. Depending yeah, exactly. Room okay. temperature to lukewarm, but you go a little bit cold on the one bucket, a bit of warm on the other one, and then normal tap water on the other. And you use various things. There's people that use different products. So three buckets. Three buckets. You have three separate buckets of varying temperatures. The one will have lemon juice. The one will have uh, hydrogen peroxide. And the other one can have bicarb, for instance. And those three things are doing different things to neutralize certain pHs and doing certain things to stop certain things happening in the plant and also washing off certain stuff. So it's a lot of, you can go online, Jorge Cervantes, have you heard of Jorge Cervantes? Yeah. The, the, the OG. Once or twice. The OG. Yeah. He's got a video that he shows you how to wash plants in a bucket with some... I you just like uses, grab your branch and... Yeah, you literally dunk it, it in, in there, you know, yeah. from what you've got. I've seen you do, well, I've seen people <coughs> doing it and you just dunk it in the, in the bucket Dunk it in the next one, dunk it in the next one, take and it just out, like shake that. it off. You don't like soak it. No, you just give it a good shaking inside. It's it's you're, trying to, you're trying to basically wash off what's inside and agitate it enough to make something come off of it without doing physical agitation. Because if you start getting in there with your hands, you're going to obviously take trichomes off and it's going to be good. So the water won't do anything. Wash the plant, wash it again, wash it again, or tell me how many buckets you want. I mean, if you look online and I just typed in bud washing and I went to the images, <clears throat> I get three different buckets. The first bucket with baking soda, so bicarb, it's anti-mold. No, it's an anti-mold, okay. so it's going to neutralize it and it's going to kill any mold that you have on your plant. So if you do have powdery mildew, it's going to kill it immediately. Um, it'll still be there, but it's not now living. <coughs> the next bucket would be lemon juice and peroxide, where it's going to have its antimicrobial <coughs> and antiseptic properties. So again, you're just killing off what was there and you're just really trying to make it safe. And then the third bucket would be to wash off everything that you've just put onto okay. it to clean it off. So it's like just a clean, straight water. Final wash, just clean water, exactly. Oh, 
and then then you take it off of that out of that section. You hang it in front of a fan or whatever, and get the excess moisture off. Because you must remember, you know, don't want to just now hang that bud up. Soaking wet. Soaking wet in your room that's drying your plants in because yeah. you literally are going to destroy everything. So he hangs it in front of a fan. Yes, he puts it in front of a fan. Right in front. Yeah, literally. That's I've seen you put it. You just shake it in front, in front of a fan and literally like see this. the water droplets fall like off. This. Ninety degrees. And with the water droplets <laughs> falling off, once it's done, that's fine. Then you're yeah. fine. You don't just don't want to have that excess again. water. Yeah. It's dry essentially because the plant is still wet inside and that little bit of moisture that's on the surface is say maybe it was a bit of. Yeah, that's in the rain. Yeah, you just don't want those big drops of water. And then you just go and do your do normal drying technique, and literally, it's that. It's not like dry a. Out, it'll be fine. Thing. Okay. Yeah, this is a good video. This is the only guy I've seen. And he shows you also how it floats on the water after the second wash. I've seen guys that have yeah. done bad. They they did a bad harvest, it was really bad, and they needed to wash it for their own sakes because they were it's like, like we're not flakes. using it. Yeah. And at the top of the bucket, you see this like yeah. white skin on the yeah. top. Sure. What about. What about. Um, Washing a live plant, basically a folio spray, but with those, it's those same dunk. ingredients. Yeah. Yeah. It's called a dunk. It's dunk. And guys do it. You make a yeah. contraption that holds all your soil in the pot, clamp it all together, make a big bucket and dunk the whole plant inside the thing. People do it, but you and that guys do it with big plants, monster plants. It's a effort. It's a serious effort. Rather do that when you when it's smaller, or just yeah. do proper yeah. folio sprays. If you do your folio sprays yeah. properly, you don't have to do a dunk. Foggers, yeah. But washing your plants is just, um, you know, it's it's a it's a compromise. It's an option. No, it's an option. It's a compromise. It's a compromise. It's, a compromise, it's eh? not an option. It's if you think you're gonna, you think to yourself, ah, oh, I can wash my bud at the end of this compromise. harvest, you've really fucked up yeah. already because you're lazy. It's a compromise. You're lazy, lazy, lazy. If it happens that you've now you've got medicine in the cupboard and you've got powdery mildew and now you need to have this medicine, you can't afford to lose it. You blast wash it. that bud. Blast yeah. it. No. You wash blast it. Blast it rather. You think so? Yeah. Making I'd oil. Blast it. Man, if, you know, that's no, you know, what I'm saying. Making oil, yes. Yeah. Of course you can. With the oil, you can, wash you, can, you can you wash I'd it wash first. wash it with butane. <laughs> you wash it with butane. <laughs> <laughs> but the problem with that, <clears throat> that being said, double filter. If you don't wash the bud yeah. prior sure. to doing an extraction and it has powdery mildew on it, what are you doing? Well, you're concentrating, your, you're con concentrating the spores and it's proven that if you extract powdery mildew or mildew so spores. Why double filter? It, it's still there. It's a one. It's less than a micron. It's actually a it's micron like small. The, 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 the powdery mildew. Double spores. filter. Dude, double what you filter. have to do is you have to this is a it through. This is a lover's and plus. And then a one micron <laughs> syringe filter will filter out powdery mildew if you do an extraction. Yeah. And you can do it. You can do it. Could Dan says micron. that the only time you should do washing is uh, when you washing making hash. Yeah. Yes, right. I agree. You should only wash when you make hash. Yes, well, ice hash. Dan's been talking about these hash <laughs> bags, but oh, that's going to be a big jump when we're bored. Uh, we're also going to bring you that uh, GT Hydro video soon, so please go check out Green Grow Room, Green Smoke Room, Grow Guru, uh, hydroponics.co.za, uh, Marijuana SA, and uh, Freedom Farms, and all those good oaks for all your grow needs. Uh, but it looks like washing your buds is a thing now, so vote yeah. in this week's poll. You've done it. No, sis, man. But Dan, you say you've had to do it, a compromise, but was it worth doing? It was very light. The plants were just literally, they were outdoor and they had a bit of powdery mold. It's to fucked, it's fucked. It was, I wouldn't wash a fucked plant. It wasn't, well, it's fucked, because yeah. essentially, like you say, <laughs> when you see powdery mold, you, it's three weeks, four Love weeks in. You don't want to wash it. Yeah. Yeah. But you're, you're telling me that you've never, yes, ever smoked a bit of powdery mold, you bud. Yeah, but you have. Fuck. And I've smoked from the outside bud. all the way towards the stem, and it's on the stem and inside. No, but that's no, no, no. That's no, no, no. no. See, there's levels. Hold yeah, on, there's, there's levels. There's <laughs> levels. Fucked. Come it's on, fucked. there's really? degrees. Don't wash something that's fucked. Of course, if yeah. it's really but destroyed, it's if your leaves, your leaves, you are yes, sorted. You can wash the plant. I wouldn't no even worry about. If your buds have got powdery mildew inside, yeah, it's not recommended. Inside, I would never recommend it. Yes, I agree with that one. That's just ridiculous. That's all you can do. Wash it with your but tears. talking about washing, in America with the fires, these yeah, fires that they've had at the moment. Now, the all these plants tears. are covered in ash. Okay? They're going to need Ooh. to wash. They need to wash their plants. But they can't wash their plants. Because why? When you take smoke or soot and you add water, it creates lye. Mm -hmm. And that basically cakes your plants up and it will, uh, like, it yeah. stops the plants starves from, them. starves them from light, from everything. And also the water, as soon as it touches the ash, it creates like a, a crust. You know, like this, this... Mm -hmm. 
coating of the plant and it kills plants immediately. And then you need to so get now, vigorous with it to get that off and then you get in the truck. There off. we go. So, but now you, so you, there they're not they washing. They have to there. use a wind blower, a, like, yeah. like a, a, a leaf blower. Yeah. And you go and you blow the Micro plants vacuum. every day to push all that dust off of the plants because if they water their plants, they get this like mm. intense mm. mud on their plants, Jeez. which is quite weird. So See, uh, maybe it's dusty plants. Yeah. Dusty, yeah. You've seen it with dusty plants yeah. as well. Yeah. And that's the thing, dusty plants. Dusty plants, if you've got outdoor plants, and you've got dusty plants, and you've got the most dankest plants, but they yeah. crap now, because honestly, they're full of sand, and they're dust on the actual trikes, and if you zoom into that thing, it looks really bad. Wash the fucking things, dust man. Just wash them, and yeah. you'll have a better bud. I swear you will. You will. It takes a lot of effort, because when you're growing a plant outside, or a hundred plants outside, it's a lot to wash. Or a thousand plants. Or a thousand or ten thousand or whatever it is. If you get that scale, you should. But if you right. got some small yeah. plants at home and you and you see a bit of dust or a little bit of PM starting, go leaf by leaf. Maybe if you live next to the highway. Nicely. You don't have to wash your plants in the bits. And well, it depends, bro. Because there's a line, eh? But like you know, like like the text is saying, you know, and I agree with it. When there's when it gets into everything, you don't take care of it. It's re. White, you done. Yeah. Throw it away because that is bad. that is not anything even enjoyable because your plant actually won't even develop to what it should be. Too busy fighting the law. That's it. That's it. I'm learning. Check. Crazy days. I wonder what's going to happen next when it comes to weed, guys, because it feels like every year there's something new. This, like I said, the last year I'd never really heard of this thing, and suddenly on the cannabis groups, guys are asking. Guys are, are there are other asking. plants that get washed? Lettuce. Tobacco. <laughs> oh, I mean, yeah. Tobacco, you were saying. Tobacco, same. lettuce, yeah. yeah. Most veggies, yeah. hopefully. Yeah. 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 Every, every veggie you find in the shop is washed. Okay. That was so why a stupid is it question. Not, I am the queen of stupid questions. Why is it not a good practice with your bud? Yeah. yeah. Why Maybe is it bud so should be washed, yeah. technically. Yes. Maybe it should be for... In butane. Because you're not butane. smoking those tomatoes, bro. Mm. In butane. <laughs> Maybe because we're smoking it, it should be even more washed. Yeah, because our lungs are delicate, sensitive little flowers. Right. A good point. Hey. Not ours specifically. Mm. But and if you want to be able to smoke for life, then wash your buds. Is that what you're saying? I don't know, guys. No, you're farmer. Wash it in butane and vape. That's because a good one. Because combustion, smoking anything is bad for your lungs. Combustion is good. The vaping is good for you because there's no combustion. Well, yeah, vaping could be up to 90% healthier Even that, than yeah, smoking. Let's be honest, nothing supposed to go in your but lungs. But, that's a good point. You must know your, know your farmer if you can. <coughs> If you know who you're getting your bud from, then it's better. It's always better to know what's in your weed, how it's been treated, how it's been grown. But some people don't have a choice. They've got to get that 50 buck gelable bank. Yeah. You can only wash your weed before it gets dried and cured, right? Yes. I'm just double checking. I'm some guys do water <laughs> curing, which is another method, which they leave their bud in water for a couple of weeks and it draws the chlorophyll out of the plant. It helps it to. We're going to have to cover yeah, that in another one because takes the pungency out of the taste. I've never tried it myself. Okay. Okay. So, sure. guys, that felt like a, a dope uh, grain with my buds. Uh, but we're going to have to start figuring out some new things to talk about. You guys are going to have to start throwing some suggestions and ideas <laughs> our way. Because I've thought up this topic for three years and I'm just about spent. Okay, hey? well, make a note. Water curing. I want to know more about water this. Water curing, yes. I want to know more about this. Next That's week, water yeah. curing. Eh? Is this something we can try on air, Dan? Has anybody got some bud that they're harvesting? No, not at the moment. Or that's just harvested? The seeds are just popping. So Actually, we'll get yes. there. Yes. 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 If you can bring like a couple of buds, but, yes. but then, yeah. We don't need to do a crazy a amount, just a small enough amount. But there's a procedure well, you have to follow, up. actually. There's a procedure you have to follow. It hung up two days ago. Yeah. We'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Stay tuned. Otherwise, we'll just find information and, and tell you about it. We'll steal content. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, so... <laughs>